Welcome, Land Resort Club Hotel. Let's get straight in through the front door. This hotel has got Aqualavia water park built into it, so you get that in with the price. We paid around about £600 per person. That was for the fully inclusive. You can do self catering here if you want. You come down, you've got a reception desk, check in, and then it takes you straight through to the pool area. The pool's a circle, and all of the apartments are all based around the outside. Make his way out onto this pool. And that's what you've got there. You've got the left, you've got the main pool, you've got a kids' pool here on the right hand side, and you've got a medium pool there. None of these pools are heated, they are all absolutely Baltic, unless, of course, you know, you're getting sort of high 20s temperatures. We were 18 to 20 temperature, we went in January. Got a games room there, just in case the weather does turn on you. It's not too bad. And let's make our way up to where our apartments were. So this is where we were stopping. Beautifully laid out, very nice. We were quite fortunate where we were located here, right on the end. And just as you come out, you've got that beautiful view of the Mount Roja volcano. If you've got a spare 60 minutes, you can go and walk up that. Let's get you in through the front door. Slide in patio, in we go. Draw back the fly screen and the curtain. So we go. TV, you've got a sofa bed, self catering, kitchen area with the fridge. It's a bit of an old tatty fridge, but it's alright. The decor is a little bit dated, but it's not too bad. We've seen worse. Got a bedroom, beds are two big singles. Got a bit of a shelf in place over there. Bedside tables, suitcase stand, cupboard. In the cupboard we've got just some drawers and the uh, room safe. And then if we go across, <laughs> hi there. We have actually got air conditioning into those, are we? So um, let's go into the bathroom, show you that. There you go, look, just a bit of a, it's quite nice, quite a nice bathroom. Hair dryer on the walls. And like I say, your bath with a single shower with the bath. So again, it's in better days, but it's all right, it does the job, doesn't it? So all in all, it's not a bad little base to start. I do miss this, sitting out on the patio, the sun coming up just by the palm tree there. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's take you for a little stroll. We're gonna go up this path now. This takes you all the way up to the beach gate. Um, when you get there, you punch a code in and you open up the metal gate. It takes you out and then there's a little stroll down to the beach. Now I'll show you that in a minute. If we go the other way, straight out the apartment again, down the stairs, I'll take you across. This is the pool area. We'll go straight across this. As you can see, it's not very busy. This is nice and early in the morning. I've come down at nine o'clock. So you know when to come and put your towels out if you were struggling for space. We didn't struggle really. There were people putting towels, but it wasn't bad. There was plenty of beds. You've got the beach bar which uh, serves up some uh, local beers and beverages. Now then, if we make our way around here, you've got the kiddies' little playground there, which was quite nice for the little ones. Make our way round the side here. I'm going to go out the other way in a minute. I'm just going to show you the gym first, though. There is a um, gymnasium, if you fancy pumping some iron. This is extra, though. It doesn't come in with the package even though you're fully inclusive they do like to charge you the odd little extra I mean it's a bit strange because we normally get this sort of stuff in with the price but there you go six euros a day look which I thought was a bit steep to be fair right here we go let's crack on up this path now this is going to take us up to Aqualavia so I can show you the water park we're just going to have a quick uh, wander up there some of the apartments on this side were a little bit bigger only slightly so you'd have got four beds instead of uh, two, or maybe six. Some of these were sleeping six, so they'd have had a, a, an extra bit there. But the majority of these were all the same size. I have to say the maids were doing a smashing job, kept the place nice and tidy. The, the faultless as far as cleanliness, absolutely amazing. And if we make our way down here, look, this is the, uh, the prison, I like to call it, the kids' club. 
<laughs> and yes, it's like all the others. It's like Fort Knox. Look, hey, lock your kids up in there. Get them out of the way if that's what you're into. <laughs> and on the right hand side here, all the way beyond this perspex sheeting, you have Aqualavia. And we'll just whiz in here and show you around quickly. You say you're getting free with your wristband from the hotel. And uh, yeah, you've got this, uh, again, nice place. But again, none of the pools are heated. They're all um, pretty pretty chilly. Pretty chilly pools. Uh, you've got a lazy river there. Goes all the way round. Not many people in there because, again, they were coming out blue. <laughs> you've got the uh, kiddies play slides and the big bucket that tips water off the top there and if we make his way up the path again there's the lazy river start and there's some bigger slides at the top here to be fair this place isn't that big it looks bigger on the camera than what it actually was you know you could go, go around the whole thing in less than five minutes uh, it, yeah you know mediocre water park I wouldn't want to pay to go in there let's put it that way but you know, thrown in with a hotel price, uh, absolute bargain. What well, I can't really grumble. And there you go. Back to the club. So what you've got, you've got obviously all inclusive with your wristband. The drinks are a little bit strange because only certain drinks are included. I know a lot of the, the all-inclusive stuff you get your local drinks included, but here you can't get cocktails. So if you want any kind of cocktail, you've got to pay for it. There is four on the list, but they're really horrible, the ones that you've never heard of. Um, but all of your tea, tequila, sunrise, um, pina colada and stuff like that, they're all six euros. So, you know, but you can get all those local spirits and stuff. They're all in with the wristband. Uh, you can make up your rum and coke and stuff like that, gin and tonic. Um, but anything you've got to mix up and make, then they're gonna charge you for it, unless it's these four specific ones on their list. If there's one thing I was really going to moan about, it would be the uh, animation team. These guys were just... This guy is so goddamn annoying. You said it. <laughs> but they did a bit of... Um, they had a guy in who come and do the aerobics and stuff by the pool. Um, you know, that, that sort of things, if you, if you liked a bit of that, that was okay. There were a few other pool activities going on. They had the water polo and some cycling in the water with some special bikes. This is the time of day, nice and relaxing. But if you want a bit more out and about, you've got the e-bikes. So if you want, you've got the use of the e-bikes as well. They are extra three euros an hour, but you can get yourself about with a little effort. It's fantastic. If you want to jolly out and you don't fancy walking, you could cover the complete promenade all the way down. Yeah, easily in a couple of hours you could do the whole lot. If you're feeling brave you can take one straight up uh, top of the volcano. It is rideable. The path's not too bad. If you take the longer route you can get up there. Right, let's get back to this beach. So we go to the gate at the back of the pathway which we went to earlier and we whiz down here now, like I say, nice steady walk, six minutes it is from door to door. You've got a beautiful uh, Tim and Fire hotel there on the right hand side. And the apartments on the left here, they look really nice as well. Just as you go past them though, look at the view in front of us here. It's absolutely stunning, beautiful. Look at the sun shining off the water, it's glistening. Nicely blocked prom promenade, all of this, all the way down. You can walk right the way into the town. It's super. And if you go the opposite direction, you can go all the way to the lighthouse. No problem at all. It's a really nice promenade, a really nice walk. You've got a little bit of volcanic rock on this side of the beach, but it uh, it slowly pans out onto the sand. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And what a better view that could be. Look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Sunset, sea, beautiful sand. Get back to the hotel. So, a really important bit of the hotel is obviously the food. What was the food like? Very much. 
well it, the food was really really nice it was really good i can't complain at all you got a little kids buffet there for your main meals salad bar yeah. soup cheeses you've got loads of pasta dishes cold pasta dishes hot pasta dishes there was always grilled fish grilled chicken lots of pork dishes nice sweet counter Be beautiful absolutely beautiful you've got um, beer on tap juices tea coffee and you've always got something on the grill here I mean look at that big joint of pork there absolutely beautiful some rice dishes there on the end I can't fault the food the food was amazing it really was you've got a nice section down here for adults only if you wanted to go and uh, spend a quiet time if you haven't got any kids with you we could just sit in the main hall breakfast again I must say this was one of the best hotels for breakfast that I've been to it was just like being at home <laughs> which I shouldn't say really but yeah you've got bacon sausage tomatoes it was just a hash brown just fantastic fresh bread you do your omelets on the griddle if you wanted a fresh omelet making can't fault the food at all now then hotel reception car rental here we go they use this elizabeth car rental 46 euros for a corsa bargain absolute bargain this company they were really good simple delivered the car to the hotel reception we dealt with the reception for everything the roads are brilliant and you can have a really good day out look at that beauty papagayo beach rubicon marina obviously tim and fire it was fantastic and the location of this hotel is it is good and you've got that there mount roger right in front here and it's like i say an hour walk up there it's brilliant the place was well worth going for the money can't fault it at all we had a fantastic holiday and i shall miss this beach and i'll miss this sunset thanks for watching